believe that you've been enjoying the show. And if you've missed any episode, you can catch up on WAP TV uh, YouTube channel. So today, like Chief said, I want to ask you a question. So you get to free your line and call us. Let us hear from you. How far have you gone with your property goals? How far are you? When your property goals are touching 2023, what do you don't do? Because hmm, small, small, if they go, I don't even learn. I'm telling you, I hear that some materials are going to go up in price again. Then, you know, meaning that hmm, it will be more and more. Bag of cement, five thousand. It may go even a little higher than that. You know, iron uh, rod now. Now over five hundred thousand per ton, you know, like that, and it, all of these things can go a little higher. You can imagine everything they move up, up, up. up. Block is heavy goes to enter five hundred. Abi, oh, the one four ninety something now. You know, that's so, nine inches. Six yeah. inches is done day four thirty two. Before yeah. you know, I'm now. Oh no, no. And this person no do I'm now. When what are you going to do it? When are you going to do? It? So that's a question, oh, that is really, really uh, burning in our minds today. And we want to ask you, how far are you? What are the things you set out to do? 2023, you know, at the beginning of the year, most people are always, you know, excited. Basking in the euphoria of, ah, Audrey. You, you know, and you say, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, I want to do that. How far have you gone with, with all those of those? Jesus. I want to, I want to, I want to. Which one have you really done? Which one are you on? Which one are you about to do? And I hope, You've not given up on any. So share with us. Yeah, so share with us because uh, like the discussion where they hold with person last week, at the end of the day, we have come to realize that most people, where you see where they build house now, mm. and the way they do one project or the other, mm. not be all of them get money somewhere. At all. Majority of them go collect loan. Mm. Can't they take and do something? I was in a discussion with a friend over the weekend and they tell me, say, you man, Jack, this is what you read. Mm. He said, "A young man jack be say so really means a person they collect debt mm. to take do take better thing because at the end of the day we have come to realize that engineer debo pay your bad jack be say so really if person say hey, this is my land I no one collect loan all the money will enter your hand you go chop pay house know. rent buy fuel OT law don't talk. don't go uh, yeah, maybe school fees and some other family functions but person where you know say okay I collect maybe two million." As debt somewhere, mm. and I go the service and maybe 100, 100 or two, 200 in you a month. You get as you go advise himself. Yo, cutting coats. Oh, your seat tight. Um. And the, the, the funniest part of it, sir, that we have come to also realize it, you will be surprised that why you've given them that two million and decide to be working mm. and you have a debt to be servicing, you will pay the basic and you still be living your normal lifestyle. Uh, exactly. Even if it's not exactly normal, but you will still survive. You will. I mean, we in our own experience of over 18 years in this industry, we speak to uh, landlords a lot. We speak to them a lot. And we've come to realize, like you said, most of the people that own properties today, you understand, it's not as if they gathered money somewhere before they start. No. It was just this desire that everybody had at the beginning of the year. They said, this year, I must do something. But they went beyond saying this year I must do something. They actually started to do it. And like you said, there are so many opportunities you can explore in, in borrowing money to be able to show it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like cooperative, for example, is one place you can quietly belong to. And you borrow money gradually to do stuff. And you'll be paying back that loan. Yes, you'll be paying back that loan. You know, the last time we explored, cooperative... <laughs> is a significant number of people at least that are exploring that means to become homeowners. So what I need to uh, uh, enjoin people is, look, property ownership is something that you close your eyes to do. And it is paramount, okay? It is paramount. These are the times that we need to cut our coat according to our size. You need to become wiser then. in the things you do. Or even in the normal things of life. I was hearing someone said on, on the program... Um, uh, I think over a few days or weeks ago, was saying that, you know what, who told us that there is something like three square meters? That is even three. Is three a square or a triangle? Mm. 
You know, three can never be a square. Yes. So it's an anom uh, uh, anomaly to say three square. Let me imagine a uh, square be many. No, many. many. It's an anomaly to say three square. Me. And even four can be rectangle. It doesn't have to be square. Yes, four so, can be rectangle. So that don't say you must eat three times a day. Oh, to be lost, be on jail. Yeah, that one. Was it, was it, and that, we, that, that one is even important too. We've not even talked about people where we say when they enter be a palo, uh, they will say give this one two, give this one one. In go take so that they no go say be stingy man. You know, in bola ye ye wamo. You know, in his own words, he said, "We live to eat, not eat to live. We live to, to eat, hmm. not eat to live. We live to eat, not eat to live." Meaning that exactly, meaning, exactly, meaning that you eat so that you, you can stay alive. You understand so that you can function. Not necessarily that you must just eat. I've not eaten my lunch. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Engineer Debo, no be joke. The way they will borrow you money for Malu and every other and drink is always quicker than when you say, ah, they won't collect my land for my way back for help me. They will say, ah, Kosovo, Kosovo. <laughs> But what is the emoji called you to me? Yeah, no. exactly. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's emotional. People respond to things that are emotional a lot. I mean, just before we started, I was reading something, and someone said, which is a common saying, really, that you see, when you go in the opposite direction of most people, you are probably going in the right direction and in a way that is not mediocre. Now, he was saying that if you look at the list of people that have, that have become wealthy or that are wealthy, and you remove the people that inherited wealth, what you have left are people who went against the tide at some point in their lives, you know, to become what they are today. So, people respond to emotional stuff a lot. Like, a lot of people are shouting and crying out. Yes, understandably, things are hard, really. Do you understand? The environment is hard, really. But you see, you can survive. You can still achieve those things you noted down that you want to achieve by applying certain sense in some areas of your life. You know, your income, your expenses, and your investment. Those are the three things you need to look at. Your income, your expenses, your expenses and your and investments. investments. Those are the three things you need to look at in your life. Those things are very critical and major. You have to look at them in your life. Your income, your expenses, and your investments. Most, uh, most especially yeah. our expenses, our family money. Yeah, expenses is what we were talking about the other time when we said food. Even come, on, come to food. That is necessary. You understand? That is compulsory. That you must have. We are saying that eat on need basis. There is nothing like three square me. So if it three is oh one one, if it is oh oh one 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 oh one oh oh one, whatever works for you per day, you know. I mean, I can, sincerely for me, eh, I can't remember the last time I had three times a day. And you're a big man. I can't. <laughs> no, be any money, no day. I can't remember ah. the last time I had consistently for three times a day as a family. Oh, we really, it's no, not, it's no longer in a... If I cook for work, because I eat the job Because I just even realized that if I force myself to eat three times a day, I become very... You become a gluten. In, in, it's very inconveniencing, you know, disturbed. Your stomach will just be big for nothing. You will not be able to rest. You will not be, you will not be free. You will not be you agile. Be, yes. You understand? You will just be druggy and draggy and all of that. So I just, since I've applied, I mean, growing up, I was someone you would call, they used to call me Obelawo. <laughs> you it? know, in my family, called, ah, you don't know the meaning of Obelawo. I know the meaning of Obelawo. Obelawo is that, Pariolondo, something like that. Well. As in, give, they call me Buki at home, give Buki any food, he will finish it. Then if you have your own lab that you have done, <laughs> you know, Moyo. <laughs> I didn't know the meaning of Moyo until I became, let's say, in my late teens or in my early 20s, hmm. sincerely. Because for me, Moyo used to be that until I'm full, really. That's Moyo. That's, That's when I say. So when they say, Shotiyo, me o yo because I say space, yeah. You understand? So I will eat until I can't eat again. That's when I think that Moyo. But later, as I grew older, I realized that no, Moyo is a decision. It's a determination. You just say, at this point, once I take this, I'm okay. That's more you. Not until you are full. Like my friend will say, Kenya kakpa ujuko kurue. 
to contain your exactly. to contain your your kilojuko corona, <laughs> your greed. Something like that. Because I told my I told my wife yesterday when we see say light in OD. Mm. Everywhere silence with the upstairs. We come there for balcony. I say, but before everybody go down on J. Okay, Why everybody know on J? I said, do you know the meaning? The meaning is that it is not a necessity. I'm telling you. So most people now have told themselves, Nepa, if you like, or PhD, if you like, take light for the OD. It is only two hours, maybe eight to ten. To ten, yes. If there is no Can't light jump, by eight to ten, if there is no light by eight to ten, okay, I'll put on jet. But anything outside of that, you know, I can't do day, uh, lantern day, lantern day. rechargeable day. That's all we're going to use that. And that is that and is wisdom. Now people have even now developed the habit of going for a rechargeable fan. Something we're not doing before. People are now mm -hmm. thinking outside the box. Solar, 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 stuff. solar stuff now. Because it's everybody must mind their expenses. Expenses. So that it will not affect their investment. Because people, what is our income? People don't go anywhere just anyhow. Hey, I, want to a I mean, see now, I, I wanted to, before starting this program, ordinarily I would have gone somewhere before coming. I sent my driver and I sent him with public transport. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me the key. key. Oh yeah, you take this one and go. Because the how much you will spend on public transport is better than ah. the fuel that you wow. just. Boom. No, no, your your own wolf is thirteen liter now. Eh, hey, remato in, remato in be wardrobe. Hey, ah. hey, you. If I get that kind of moto, mulo joba lo yon. I'm I'm the next to laugh. Eh. You know, so everybody has to apply some wisdom now to be able to because it is still from a lot of times. I mean, and in a lot of places, there is there is there is a limit to how you can increase your income. For example, if you're a salary person, in fact, for salary people, I pity us. You know why? Because for a lot of entrepreneurs right now, the thought is, how do I survive? So entrepreneurs are having to cut their workforce, yeah. are having to eliminate things that they can survive without. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So some people that are even complaining that their salary is small, they will not even get salary at all because they will be relieved of that job. job. Because and, the, you understand what I'm saying? So it's difficult to increase your salary easily. So why should you not really critically look at your expenses? So that the one way if you exactly why you continue to explore ways by which you can maybe additional income or something that you can use your extra time it, to earn. In my discussion with Mr. John mm. on Sunday, mm. he showed me a particular property while we're discussing is a real estate person. Mm. He says see this house. Mm. He says see the owner of this house. Mm. We checked him out, but we don't go church. What would they discuss? Mm. He said the day where the man come, mm. see he never ruled the place. Mm. And he said, now, nah, yeah, he go stay. He said, if rain come, because he said, it doesn't matter. He said, even no stay here, he no go finish his house. She? Lo and behold, the man has another property on that same street. And why? Because of a tough decision. They never even do the flow. Flo. Only mm. bell. Tom Batim Bolati, he said, now, there, he want to come. And it sounds very crazy to a lot of people when they saw him then, but he has finished the house, POP done day, everything done day, and he has another one on, on the street. street. The effect of the policies we are going through now, we've not seen the full effect yet. Uh, these policies are just taking root. They will become a little harder somewhere down the line before things turn and we start to better. see... We start to see the gain of these decisions that are being made, you know. So we must really guard ourselves, you know, guard our loins and be ready to apply ourselves in little, little ways. Little, little ways. So these are the times that you look at, what else can I do? I have a job. Okay, fine. I have a business. Fine. What else can I do? You must ask yourself that question. Yes. What else can I do that will bring me some money again? You have to start looking at it. So these are the times that people will start extra uh, by the side kind of jobs. And when you finish your main job, you resume that one. If it is to sell something, open one small shop for your wife or something. Or you go to from one office, maybe you are going to another uh, to do some work. You know, when people travel abroad, they don't mind. They do three jobs. So why is it that when jobs, we are at home? Five jobs. But you are here now. And you can do more. That You have time. You can do more. But you say, no, I don't want to work. That does not make any sense. Because sincerely, if you can slave in your own country, you are better off. 
to, I mean, what I mean by if you can enslave yourself, so to say, tax yourself, so to say, in your own country, you are better off than taxing yourself in another man's land where your importance is not really that much known and the expenses there are not smiling. So if you can work and abroad. Don't, don't even play with tax system. I'm telling you, so Everything if you can, you make, if you you can do two jobs abroad, if you can do three jobs abroad, what stops you from exploring those options in Nigeria? To be able to augment your income and then ensure that life also stays stable. Because we must not allow, as human beings, for life to go backwards. Mm. And backwards is what you define it. Backwards is not because you used to eat three square meals, you are now eating two square meals or one square meal, whatever square. Because you're not whatever you call it square. Uh, not because two, two yeah. does not mean life is backward. That is not the meaning of life being backward. Life backwardness is measured by tangible achievements. Mm. Not all these when ephemeras. Person, when person gets two that. cars, you can't decide to send one to complete in sight. Exactly. So, move there. so you have you are better. Life has actually moved forward, not backwards. So people you can say, put it to a car. Uh, you don't know what you're using money to do. You know? So it's very important that we really, really explore this. Because, I, I, I mean, I would have loved that we get one or two calls. But to really no, hear we people don't really out, have, we, don't really have but we don't have the time, time again, you know. But uh, I believe we've been able to learn one or two things today that you must uh, task yourself if you want to get something done. And that those where they do them, they don't keep money anywhere. Some of them, they borrow. Some of them, they do two, three jobs just to make sure that they achieve their dream this year. And that is becoming a property owner. My name is not Chief Olododote. We'll come your way again next week where they say, Bye for now. Your own property today, real estate in my body. Don't forget to invest, don't forget to invest.